Hello everyone, his royal finest here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing the how to play series on the Leopard Prototype, the tier 9 German medium tank, where I'll be showing you the three consecutive live games to break down my thought process, as well as show you through either my accomplishments or failures how you can be best utilizing this vehicle. Now, the Leopard PTA, it is a tank a lot of people struggle with, and I know why. It has some very, very big issues to come up across. But it also has a lot going for it. Now, I sold my Leo PTA about four or five years ago, and I bought it back recently for the sole purpose of making this video. And I am pleasantly surprised, and I really enjoy this tank. So, I mentioned it has some issues. So, what are those issues? Well, six degrees of gun depression which is awful. It is really just awful for a vehicle like the Leo PTA because the prototype has zero armor. Like, no armor at all. Don't expect to bounce anything. In fact, expect a lot of high explosive shells to be thrown into your vehicle. So, that really restricts the tank. You can't fight well in hilly terrain. You can't go haul down. You can't brawl very well. So, why is this tank good? Well, for two reasons. It has a killer mobility profile. Very fast, very speedy, great power to weight ratio. And it has one of the best 105mm cannons on any of the tier 9 medium tanks. Superb penetration, superb accuracy, good enough damage per minute. And when you combine that with the mobility, you have a very flexible kind of vehicle. And like I said, you're not going to be going haul down or brawling or anything. What you're going to be doing with this tank is you're going to be utilizing the mobility. You're going to flank around the enemy team. You're going to try and find the isolated targets. You're going to go do spotting runs in this vehicle. And for the most part, in avoid those central engagements and avoid the mass of the enemy team and try and figure out where you can be sneaky in this vehicle to get around to their sides and just farm them up with this gun because this gun almost never fails great penetration i just love this gun so much and i'm really performing well in this vehicle since i have purchased it back and so that's what its playstyle is about it's not being a generic kind of medium tank it's about actually being more of a light tank in your mindset with this tank just pushing around being very sneaky and dealing damage that way so for those of you who are curious this is the equipment i am running on the pta now i am running calibrated shells and that's because tier 9s generally speaking get a lot of tier 10 matchmaking and well when you're dealing with an e100 or a mouse or any three it is nice to have 300 30 millimeters of heat pen so for that reason i am running the calibrated shells and then everything else is just kind of my go-to medium tank loadout so for me that's not super important and yeah so that is the leopard pda that is his pro pro play style now before we jump into the live gameplay i would like to make a quick announcement that um this is probably going to be my last thursday video for the next few months and that's because i'm starting another semester up at my college which is going to take a lot of time and a lot of energy out of me so i won't have as much time to make videos bi-weekly so for the next three months or so I will try and post every Monday when possible, but don't expect a ton of uploads in that time period. However, once school is done, I'll go back to bi-weekly, maybe even tri-weekly videos, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So with that out of the way, let's jump right on into the live gameplay. Alright, so here we are. First game, we're on Canyon. Now, this is not a great map for a vehicle like the Leopard Prototype because it is a very gun depression oriented map, I would say, for the most part. And there's not very many opportunities just to float around and find those good angles to shoot at, but I think we can definitely make it work. Now, looking at the lineups, the enemy team, while they do have some heavy tanks, they don't have any really scary heavy tanks or tank destroyers. They do have a pretty good amount of vehicles that can go gun depression mode in the middle of the map. And I have a feeling that they will devote a good amount of their team over towards B. So what I'm going to do here is try and go for an early spotting run towards the C side of the map. Now, the reason I'm going C instead of mid is because I really can't work mid very easily. And I think what I can do is try and find what tanks are sending this way and then just run away. If they have like two or three tanks coming towards this side of the map, I'll just get out of here. There's no need for me to commit all the way. So I'm going to avoid the cap for now. And oh dear, I did go through the cap and expose myself. But we do find the Yag Tiger 88. So I'm going to use this bush as camouflage so the Yag can't spot me. And then we'll just pump a heat shell straight through his tank. And you know what? I think what I'll do here is I'll keep spotting around these bushes, but I'll actually capture C. And as you can see, a lot of the enemy force has indeed gone towards the A, B side of the map, which means this Yag Tiger actually might be quite isolated, and I think I can push on him. Now, that's only because about four or five of the enemy team has been spotted up on this side of the map. So I'm going to see if I have any shots before committing here. I don't believe I do, and there is still a Yag Tiger below me. So, question is, can we bait a shot from this Yag Tiger at all? We're going to put a heat shell straight through the top of his turret, and I'm going to wait till this Yag Tiger shoots or gets distracted before trying to push in on him, because he does have an extremely high DPM profile. So we do manage to put another heat shell through him. He does hit us for 370 there, but he's not going to survive very long if he keeps sitting in this middle area of the map. So we're going to load up another 
another heat shell here hopefully putting that one through we do get another heat shot into the yag tiger 88 and you know what this yag tiger is pretty much useless i think what i can do here is pop the adrenaline and start farming vehicles like this pantera out because what is really important for our team is maintaining some mid control. Now, the Pantera has just fired. We're going to pull forward onto the Ag Tiger and pick up a quick kill on him. So we do have control of the A side fully now. The enemy spawn has been cleared out. We know they have a lot of tanks in the mid and there is a Tortoise back here in the enemy spawn all by himself. So I think what I'm going to do here is start pressuring the Tortoise. I'm not going to be overly aggressive on him because I don't know what type of support I have right now. And yes, the Tortoise is a lot more, has a lot more DPM than me, but he also has a giant hatch on top, which I can easily just fire at and try and avoid him. Now, you can see there's an Emil 2 coming up through the mid, so what I'm going to have to do here is pressure this tortoise. So we're going to put a shot into this tortoise, but it should be really easily easy for us to get around him. You can see we have a Vickers coming up to support us. We have lost quite a few hit points here, but I think we've done our team a lot of good at the same time. Just trying to distracting the enemy vehicles, getting to their sides, and doing our best to clear out their spawn as quickly as possible. We know there's an Emil 2, and we know there's an IS-5 coming up on us from the left-hand side here. So I'm just going to hold back for now. I'm not going to try and push out and expose myself. There's the Amex 5120. I will happily put a shell into him. And here's where I go a little bit more passive. So I am a two shot for vehicles like the Amex, like the Emil, like the IS-5. And the worst thing I can do right now is take a ton of damage. So we can see the Emil 2 has just fired a shell and he is on the full retreat, which I believe means he does not have more than one shot in his clip. I will put a shell into him. And then we're just going to kind of hide it out from this Pantera and Emil 2. Now, the Emil 2 is not looking at us anymore, so we're going to pick up a quick kill shot onto that Emil 2. It is important for us to start picking up those very vital kill shots, as our team is not winning this game very much. We're going to try and put a kill shot into the Pantera. We do manage to sneak that kill shot in, and now we can push around behind this IS-5 and start farming him out. So I think we did a great job here so far. The game is still pretty close, as they have a lot of hit points, but my entire goal this game was to just stay away from their heavy tanks, try and clear the isolated targets, and then use my mobility advantage to get around the enemy team and deal with them that way. So IS-5 has just fired. I'm going to really hope we get the max roll here, and we do manage to pick up the max roll. And you can see that this A75TS is pushing in on me. So I'm going to try and stay away from him. And hopefully our IC will pick up a kill on the AMX. He does pick up that kill, which is important. And we can see that the E75TS has just fired. So I'm going to push on this E75. He's not going to survive this game very long. Oh no, I just rammed him. That was a really bad idea. Um, I'm going to put another shot into him here. We're just going to continue side hugging this E75TS. And then we're going to pull back here. Unfortunately, taking a shot there, but. Our team easily should have this win. Hopefully, the Waffenträger pick up a kill. Not quite. We're going to win it off cap. So, bit of a mistake on my part there when I rammed into the E75TS. That wasn't intentional. It is just what happened. Um, but we're still going to win this game. And we still did exceptionally well for a Leopard prototype. Doing over 6,000 damage here. Picking up 5 kills. And as long as our team is patient, we should win this. So I'm just going to wait it out here for a moment and... Hopefully our team managed to not die. They just need to stay alive for about another 20 seconds or so, and then they'll easily win this game. Excellent. All right. Well, that was a very exciting first game to begin the Leopard prototype video. I think it really hit all of the marks for playing a vehicle like the Leopard PTA. You are mobile. You want to avoid the extremely heavy brawls to begin the game off with, right? You don't want to go to those gun depression spots, so I didn't go towards mid. Instead, I was very aggressive towards C. And the reason I decided to go C there is because they didn't have heavily armored heavy tanks. They're less likely to go C. They're more likely to go A, B, especially with the spawn that they were on. And I was able to use that information to kind of push through their spawn, pick up kills on both of their tank destroyers, and then just farm out their team to the best of my ability. Now, I did mess up a little bit in the end there when I got myself killed, but still it was a very solid game okay so time for the second match we are on himmel uh sorry not himmel middleburg and this is uh, not the best map necessarily the enemy team have double t49s a percetos 46 and a p44 pantera we are at least top tier but they have a lot of nasty little derp guns that could make my day absolutely miserable so i'm going to spawn up the hill first but i'm going to do so a little bit more passively just kind of pulling up over here we're gonna put a shot into this p44 and pull back and i was just using this bush as camouflage and trying to get an idea of where the enemy team was going so we can see that they have both T-49s on the right, they have a P-44 and a Progetto on the mid, and it looks like there's a Tiger 2 actually going up towards the hill. So, 
As the Tiger 2 was spotted, I'm going to see if there's any way I can put some early shots in towards the Tiger 2. We do manage to get a good shell in towards him, and that tells us that they have heavy tanks going up top here. Now, the Emil 2 looks like he is completely isolated, and I think what I'm going to do here is just push on the Emil 2. Now, the reason I'm deciding to push on him is they have at least six tanks going up towards the hill, and this Emil 2 is all by himself. So, he should be a quick and easy kill for us if we just push in onto his side. And as we have a lot of heavy tanks down here, this Emil 2 is definitely not going to survive very long down in the town. So, we're going to just keep aiming towards his engine deck area and that's just to try and get a fire at all and pick up a kill because the quicker we manage to clear this tank the better it is for our team so another shot into the mill too he gets taken down there and what i'm going to do now is start pushing back up towards the hill so we're going to have double cap advantage here which is good for our team and we might be able to get shots in on vehicles like these t49 so we get one shot into the t49 and both the enemy t49s got baited off the hill now that's actually kind of a big mistake on their part because now they're yoloing into a town engagement and well t49s aren't necessarily the best for a town fight and that leaves me free just to push up on vehicles like this tiger 2 who is relatively isolated i should be able to easily pick up a quick and easy kill on him so we're going to aim for a track shot here we do manage to take his tracks off and that's just to kind of keep him in place and make it easily easier for me to circle around him when i need to so we should be able to pick up a kill on him momentarily pantera is on our left and the is8 is going towards the town so i'm going to see if i can get a shot in towards this is8 while he is relocating we're going to put a shell into him which is very nice and there's still one t49 floating around the map but i think what i can do here is just push in on this progetto 46 wherever the progetto 46 is um he should provide me with some good clean damage here there's the is5 we see the t49 is pushing and back towards our spawn or the enemy spawn but for now my bull my goal is going to be killing this projetta so we're going to pick up a nice ram onto him hopefully pick up the kill very quickly and now we can pressure back in towards the isa so you can see this game we were very mobile and you can see i had an extremely fast response to to discovering where the enemy team was going and once we realized that emil was by himself i realized it was a very quick and it was a very easy kill for me to pick up and i used that information just to push in onto vehicles like oh my gosh that was a bad shot on my part and i used that information just to push on the town and help my team pick up the quickest kill possible on the mill two and then push back up the hill to clear the vehicles if i had stayed on the hill we may have won that engagement but i think on the whole it was a much better idea for me to get out of the hill there because they had six tanks on the hill right they had one mill in the town I could just push in on that mill and kill him and then rotate back around and be flexible. And that's, uh, once again, just what the PTA is about. It's about deciding where the enemy team is and how you can best farm them out without necessarily being in the thick of the battle. So, Vineyards third game today once again we are top tier and i will admit we are doing uh, we are getting a lot of top tier matches here so that is very lucky for us but either way it is the same concept whether it's tier 10 or tier 9 for me i would be doing the exact same thing here so you can still use the information i'm providing here in a tier 10 matchup so we are just spotting up real quickly what vehicles are coming towards the ruined side of the map and you can see we have spotted up a lot of vehicles there's a t49 there's a t54e1 there is a amex ac46 but now that we have that information we can start pushing in on vehicles and start creating a nice little fire now i love this bush because they can't spot you through this bush right they cannot spot you through this bush until you have fired at them or if they're really close and you can't perma spot them anymore now you can see this amx is kind of going to try and um counter my position here but i've already done what i wanted to do their t54 e1 is already practically dead right that is all i wanted to do was get an early spot up on what was coming towards the dunes I mean, towards the ruins and just spawn up this information for my allies because we had a mega crossfire up top there. And that means the enemy team were very exposed to our tank destroyers and everyone else that we have sitting in spawn. So I think what I can do here now is start pressuring four vehicles like the MX AC 47. Uh, and we can see there is a T92 on our left hand side. Now, this T92 is bone stock. So I have much better DPM than him. That is a guaranteed for this engagement. You can see there's the Amex AC48 over here on my left-hand side. I think what I'm going to do is I might take a shot from him, but I would like to try and pick up a kill if at all possible. I'm not quite able to pick up a kill on him, but we are able to pick up a kill onto T54E1. And then we can just pull all the way down here. So if this T92 wants to get a shot on us, he has to really overexpose there. So we're just working around in the ruins to the best of our ability now that is a t49 yoloing in on us he fires heat at us but he makes the huge mistake of ramming us there and we are a much heavier vehicle so i'm very easily able to put a kill shot into him pick up a much needed kill there and now we are getting pushed on by this amex ac47 so we're going to go down here probably but we do manage to oh my gosh not quite able to pick up the kill shot there we are able to hopefully pull back from the t92 we do manage to avoid his shell they're going to put a another shot into the t92 here and even if he pushes on to us we should be relatively secure so we're not going to do a ton of damage per se this game 
but we did what we were supposed to do. And I think this was an interesting alternative way of watching how the leopard can play. It was all about going in towards the town, I mean, towards the ruins here and spotting up for our team. My goal here wasn't to deal damage, and we're still going to do about 2,500 damage or so, which is great, but my entire goal was to find this area and keep these tanks perma spotted, and that allowed all of my teammates over here just to farm out their team with absolute ease, and it worked quite well for us. So here is the WZ120 GFT on the enemy team. I'm going to try and put a couple of shots into him to try and farm up my 3k, but that was a very bad shot on my part, unfortunately. So we're not able to get that shot in, but we might be able to just get the kill shot in here. Excellent. So another fantastic game in the Leopard prototype. It was a much closer game, uh, a much more kind of complicated game for me, but we got a first class. And the reason why we got a first class is if you look at these stats, we have almost 2000 spotting damage there. And it is almost a ticket to success if you do what I did in that game. If you have tanks on the B cap, just sitting there doing nothing, you need to spot for those tanks. It doesn't matter the skill set or what type of vehicles you have there, you need someone spotting for them. So I utilized the Leopard prototype this time more as a light tank than a medium vehicle. I pushed really aggressive left there. I spotted up what was coming towards the ruins and I kept them perma spotted and my team was just able to farm them out. I did not necessarily play that beautifully. I did have some messed up shots here and there and stuff like that, but I was able to stay alive, I was able to get a lot of assistance, and that was just kind of an alternative way of playing the Leopard prototype. So, as you can see with the Leopard PTA, it's all about kind of thinking outside of the box and being versatile in this vehicle. You don't want to go for those frontal heavy centralized engagements. You want to try and get to the sides of the enemy team. You want to try and avoid the majority of their team and then utilize just how amazing this gun is to farm up the enemy team as best you can because this tank has two things going for it. It's mobility and it's firepower. And you need to use both of those to the max to really perform well in this vehicle. And I know I was top tier in all of these games, but I've been playing the PTA a lot recently, and I would have done the same thing if it was a tier 10 match, and I would have performed probably very similarly as well, because I am performing quite well in this tank since I have purchased it back. So I hope you were able to learn a thing or two about how to play the Leopard prototype, and hopefully if you are grinding on this line, this video will be quite helpful for you. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. You guys are awesome, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Off you go. <laughs> Alright, time to make a video.